everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to our vlog channel. Today we are, what are we doing today, Steven? We're gonna look at uh, some of these ring shenanigans. Yeah, we are back at our wedding ring shop. This is where we went almost a year ago, over a year ago, yeah. to look at engagement rings. And this is where he got it. So we're coming back to look for wedding bands for my wedding band and for his wedding band. Steven was just saying that like he's really nervous to try them on because he's never worn jewelry. Like for me, like even though I didn't wear rings a lot before we got engaged like I had worn them before like I'm used to it he's literally never worn jewelry his entire life so it's gonna be a big change I'm so excited this makes it like so real to me and then later today after that we're gonna get some lunch and then after that one of my vocal students is in a show so we're gonna go watch that and then after that we're gonna go finish doing our wedding registry at Target so it's a full day of Steven and Sierra wedding adventures we have a lot of stuff going on so let's go ahead and head inside the store because we're a little bit late those are not fancy pants and you are wearing running shoes but I made him put on the nice jacket I got him for Christmas last year and I didn't remember to paint my nails so I have like chipped polish on them and they're not cute but I'll have to get kind of the visual anyways. All right, so we are in the ring store. They just took my ring off for a cleaning and it feels so weird not having it. But we're looking at the wedding bands and I think I want something like thin and studded like those ones, like really thin, but I'm not sure. What do you think, big or small? Small as possible. Really? I feel like the big ones are like big manly, burly, burly rings. Nope, small. Okay, so you choose your style and then your metal and then the width. So you want that really small width. Pretty. Oh my gosh. Wait, let me get it focused. Oh, oh my gosh. It's so sparkly now. There we go. So here's my first one, but I'm not sure if I really like the way it looks stacked. So I'm gonna try one of the curved ones and see if I like that better. So here's the second one. It's the one that curves. I like this one better than the first one, but I'm still not like totally set on the double diamond look, but I do like this one. So now I'm trying something way different. It's a sapphire actually, but I'm not sure if I like it because see how it kind of like sticks out and it like hits my finger weird. I feel like it wouldn't be that comfortable. Okay, so Steven picked out one. <laughs> Steven picked out my absolute favorite one. You guys gotta see it. So it's a little infinity sign and he picked it out himself and I just think it complements it so well. It is so cute. And I even like this one on its own, you know? Cause like if I didn't want to go travel or something. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Good pick, Steven. I know. <laughs> All right, so I've tried on probably 20 wedding bands, and I think I found my favorite. It's like the really small little infinity sign one that Steven picked, and I love that he picked it too, because like I didn't even think of it. But I think I want one that's even a little bit like smaller. Like this one has two little diamonds on it, and I think I want it to be really small, like really like just blend in with my engagement ring. But now I have like a better idea of what I want because I literally had no idea when I came in. Now moving on to Steven's turn, trying the guy's wedding bands. Like I kind of like the little black, just like the nice soft black round, tiny. <laughs> <laughs> so he's trying on one of each color. He thinks he likes the black the best, but we also tried on a silver, a copper and a gold. So if you want to try this on, it takes about six to 12 weeks to come in. No, that's not the finger you wear it on, honey. Nice try. <laughs> yeah. So it's your left hand and your ring finger. What do you think of the titanium? Yeah, I like it. I think it looks good on you. No, is this a black titanium? No, this is black ceramic carbide. Yeah. All right, so we found Steven's ring, but he doesn't want to reveal it until the big day, so he's covering it up. So you guys will have to wait and see which one he chose. So you're so proud of me, aren't you? I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and wait, he picked the ring that's my favorite. And you picked a ring that was in my budget, so I'm happy Actually. in both ways. The ring I picked, you said you don't like anymore. I just feel like I like the, the I don't know, I'm not sold. We didn't get one for me yet, so I'm not okay. like certain. We still got a little research to do for Sierra. But we have yours, yay! Yay! We did it! See, that wasn't so scary. No, it was pretty hard. Oh, stop. Drama queen over there, it was so easy. And you found your ring. That was nice. And we found two potential rings that I like. So now do you think that you'll be able to like wear it every day? Oh no, yeah, I like the wedding band we chose. Yeah, I like I it too. I don't quite understand this whole wedding band girls thing. Yeah, Steven thinks that like, he he doesn't get the whole wedding band thing, but that's like the importance is like, that you exchange rings on your wedding day. Like this ring is like the promise that we're gonna get married and the wedding ring like symbolizes that we are married. You get it? Yeah. You get it? Ooh, I, think I, like I, that, I like the idea of just like engraving. Babe, I, I think I left the door open a little bit. Oh God. 
So we are just heading out from one of my students' shows. It was so cute. The show was so good. Just like warms my heart seeing my students perform. I absolutely love it. So it is about four o'clock now. That was a pretty long show for junior version two. But we are about to hop in the car. We have to head home and check on the dogs because they have been alone for a little while. So we're gonna check on the dogs and then go register for gifts. Holy snaps, it is now eight o'clock somehow. We just lost the past two hours, but that is a-okay. -okay. I blame this guy. But yeah, so uh, change of plans. So we're not gonna go to Target tonight. Probably do that tomorrow night, even though I'm already kind of crunching for some time to get some homework done, but we'll see how it works. Sierra bought a cool little new veggie spaghetti maker thing that I think she wants to show off. We're gonna make veggie pasta and have a really cute date night together because we're just gonna go to Target tomorrow. Even though it might not seem like it was a long day on the vlog because like obviously we weren't gonna vlog during the show and like by the time we started vlogging this morning we were already at the store like to us it was a long day. <laughs> was a long day. We might go to the gym. Yeah so plan is it's what, eight o'clock right now? Bella, you are literally stealing the show. No, I like it. Like. Hi, welcome to the vlog of Welcome to Steven and Bella in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so the plan for tonight is cute date night at home, uh, Target register tomorrow, and then tonight we're gonna clean a house, make dinner, go to the gym, and then go in the jacuzzi and by then it'll be like two in the morning because that sounds like a lot of stuff yeah. before bed. <laughs> Maybe we should just eat dinner and uh, oh bed. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're so motivated. Nah, we'll, we'll definitely eat, take a little break, go to the gym. We'll see where we are there. So I'm trying out this weird vegetable pasta maker and it's actually like really cool. Like let me show you what it does. It's kind of really cool. All right, so I've got the little thing right here and I'm putting in my zucchini and then twisting clockwise so it comes, is that clockwise? Yeah, that's clockwise, out the bottom like that. Steven's doing the dishes, how's it going, babe? Almost finished. Yay, good job. Bella's licking her lips, she thinks it looks good. Oh, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. As a side, I think this is a great way to eat zucchini. Mm. It could not be a main dish. You wouldn't eat it as a main dish? I mean, it's not. A, there's nothing, you're not eating anything. Well, it's a vegetable. Yeah, you can have a you can have a zucchini for dinner. Okay, but taste wise, taste -wise is it good? It'd be great as a side. I would have it like a side with a giant something. Literally every dish that I make, like every good vegetarian or vegan dish that to me is like a main dish, like an entree. Steven's like, wow, this would be like really good for a side. Like, don't you think this would be good for a side? I'm like, this is my main meal. Don't judge it. I don't know if the vlog will be able to hear you because the music's kind of loud, but this is the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my whole life. All right, so we are in the gym. We almost got kicked out. It closes at 10, it's like almost 10. So hopefully they let us do our workout. We uh, kind of snuck in, the door is locked, but we found a construction door. Yeah. I was like, uh. <laughs> yeah. Whatever I need to do, me work out. Let's do it. Um, let's see, what am I gonna do today? I think I'm just gonna run in like 20, 30 minutes. Not really feeling up to the challenge of weights. Plus me and Carter, shout out to Carter. We're just doing them yesterday, so it's a little sore. But running sounds great because I did not run yesterday. We're gonna get our workout. Sierra's over here stretching. We should be good. So we really only got like, oh hi, half our workout in. That was really cute. Because they came in and kicked us out after like 25 minutes because the gym was closing and the guy was really sassy about it. Which I get because we were there after it was supposed to be closed. Yeah, but he was still really he, sassy. How is he any sassy? Hey guys, the gym is closed. I need to lock the building. And then I'm like, okay, can I finish up my workout? And he's like, uh, you can pick up your stuff and leave. Yeah, oh yeah, here's what, here's what Mr. Security got on. So you know, sit down, sit on the weight bench, watch Sierra run for another 10 minutes. Even though we didn't get to finish all the way, I'm so glad we did. Maybe I'll just stretch out a little bit in here. And then we can cuddle up on the couch. Ooh, wanna watch Man in the High Castle? Ooh, you know what I came out tonight? What? Girl. What? Planet Earth 2. Ooh, girl, I know what we're doing tonight. It's about to be a crazy Saturday night. So, we um, got back from the gym. Yeah, well, we got in our PJs, and we were gonna go in the jacuzzi, but then we decided that instead, we'd get all comfy on the couch and watch Planet Earth, two or three? See, there's only two Planet Earths. Like, no offense to people who like really like Planet Earth, like I don't want Steven to get offended too, but I feel like this is the perfect like mind-numbing show. You know, like I don't have to really think about it. Uh, like if we were gonna me? watch, we were gonna watch Man in the High Castle. Like my brain is gonna be turning. Like I just kind of want to like sit and like exist right now. I like Planet Earth <laughs> you know? because it's like 
They do the coolest stuff. They just have like the best. It's so cool. No, it's super cool. And so, think about it. Every like sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade class is gonna watch every single one of these in school. It's true. That's what I did. Yeah, me too. I'm a little bit bummed that we didn't get to go do the registry today because I really wanted to do that and I was really excited. But that just means more things to do tomorrow. Yeah, not necessarily a good thing, but. Yeah, Stephen has a lot of homework to catch up on and I have some editing, but Target's right down the street. We don't have that much stuff to do. Like we already did the majority of our registry at Bed Bath & Beyond. We just have more like, cause we did all of like our housewares at Bed Bath & Beyond and the registry that we're doing at Target is more like fun stuff. Like we're doing like board games and like a new grill and like that kind of stuff. And like I'm gonna do a bunch of decor and that kind of thing. So it's gonna be more fun, I would say. Bed Bath & Beyond, it was like, okay, we need to pick like a knife set and we're both just like, okay, like that one looks good. All right, a toaster, that one looks good. I feel like this is gonna be more fun stuff. So I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, I still see her. I'm a little weirded out by this whole registry thing. I don't know. Steven thinks it's like making a Christmas list. Like he told me, he's like, I feel like it's gift grabby. Like I feel like it's rude. And like, I totally understand like where you're coming from on that. It's kind of weird. But it is, be like etiquette wise, like wedding planning, and if I know a lot of like you guys that watch our vlogs, some, not a lot, some of you guys are also planning weddings, so you probably get this too. It's actually considered rude to not make a registry. Because if, let's say someone wanted to get us a vacuum, how, how would they know what kind of vacuum we wanted and what if nine other people got us a vacuum? So it's like a way, like it's not saying like, oh you have to get us a gift, it's saying like, if you want to get us a gift, here's some things, you know, that we'd like. Yeah, and after going after going to like a couple weddings, I think it makes sense. Yeah, still a little weird trying to get my mind wrapped around it. I but mean, there are so many weird things with weddings, though. Yeah, it's all a little weird. It is so it's a weird. It's such party. a weird, yeah. It's a weird party. I mean, hey, we could just head to the courthouse right now. And call it a day. Next vlog, we got married at the courthouse. <gasps> Ready for uh, Planet Earth? Yeah. All right, I think we're gonna wrap it up. Are we wrapping up the vlog? Yep, is we're this gonna it? we're gonna get. Look, it's ready. It's calling me. Well, thank you for watching. We will see you guys tomorrow with our Target registry adventure. Yeah. And yeah, bye. Bye. Oh my hand, I'm so scared. Easy day. Don't move, okay?